I'm waiting for my big screen to load. I don't think she's going to do it. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Jewel. Hey, Tammy. Thank you for the stars. Hey, June. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sugar. How you doing, Sug? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Marsha. We're a few minutes early. Hey, Janice. Hi, Miss Kathy. Hi, Beth. How are you? Look, look. Hi, Rosemary. We just finished, not more than an hour ago, we finished the first ever Press on Nail Boot Camp. <sighs> Honey, these things was smoking when they left here tonight. Their work the last two days has been like over the top. It, it was very, very, very good. If you have been on the fence about it. We only have, we are already half sold out for the next boot camp in May. It's the last week of May. Go on the website, type in Press on Nail Boot Camp. If, if you have been even thinking about it, you need to get over here. Yes. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Barbara. Barbara's one of our students in the Press on Nail Boot Camp. She's done phenomenally well this weekend. Just re her work is beautiful. Hi, Penny. Hi, Cassie. Oh, Penny says, hi, Mr. Keith. He says, hi, Penny. Thank you for the stars, Penny. Yo, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I don't know why I'm sleepy. Because <laughs> I've been teaching on it. I've been teaching for two days. Now, tomorrow is the... um. I know it's not quite seven yet. Tomorrow is the uh, add-on class. You didn't have to take this one tomorrow for the boot camp. But tomorrow, uh, I'm teaching them how to set up their own web shop in order to sell their uh, press-on nails. So that should be pretty interesting, too. Shannon says, hey, Mr. Keith. Hello. Hi, Ursula. Hey, Karen. You want to go someday? We'd love to have you. It was phenomenal, Beth. We were just talking about that. We had a sold out boot camp um, yesterday and today. It's been very intense because you know what? I tend, no secret here, I tend to over plan a class. So I try to pack in as much as I can while they're here. Um, so tomorrow, we have three hours left. We'll finish our web shop class tomorrow on how to set up your own website. So you press on nails. But it was really, really, really good. Their work was phenomenal phenomenal. So listen, thank y'all for being here. Um, let me just prep my nails real fast. Tonight we're doing, child, you ain't gonna believe what Miss Tracy's put together for you tonight, honey. Barbara says she's learned so much. Barbara has a very, very nice touch on her nail art. She's been a great student. She's been such a good help. Look, we've had students here from all over the country this weekend. I just couldn't believe it was from one end to the other. Uh, Joy, are you watching Joy? I haven't seen Joy pop on. Joy's here this weekend. So, yeah, look, we're doing avocado nails tonight. Oh, they are so adorable. I, I normally don't do cutesy, but when these came in, I'm like, look, I got to do these. And, yeah, they're just adorable. So let's get you hooked up here. I got widescreen Wanda on today. Oh yeah, it's great meeting everybody. I'm gonna put you in the holder here. Give me just a second to get you popped in and I'm gonna give you a pixie of what we're doing. I've just been waiting for the right opportunity to do these. Um, avocado nails and it seemed fitting tonight you know on weekends I'm teaching long boot camps and stuff my mind is not as clear as other times so I'm like yeah let's do these let's do these look I got out of the lines a little bit ow ow Joy says she's here you're here Joy yay Joy says y'all should come to this class. It's incredible. It's not done yet, but y'all, won't y'all stop it? Look here. My little seeds and my avocados are 3D. I've popped them up. 
Now, look, all, all I had was these stiletto tips, you guys. Um, and let me adjust my lighting just real fast because sometimes when I have too many lights going on, it is harder to for you to to see this. Let me cut one of these lights off. There we go. Well, that's better, isn't it? Look here. Isn't that pretty? Y'all be nice to Miss Tracy. We took all her energy. Oh. Look, my husband go go feed me a good meal when I get done. All right, so let's get to getting in tonight's bundle. You get, if you've not had a chance to try our alcohol inks, our color cocktail, it's the perfect time to do it when they're in a little bundle like this. So you get green and you get mustard, obviously. Mustard is this deep, not like yellow, it's this gorgeous, deep, gold here. You're going to get both of those. You're going to get the Dazzling Daydreamer in Queen of Brunch. Hi, Teresa. Teresa's in our uh, boot camp this weekend. Look, we're going to, we want to get this brush in your hands, this 3D size 2, size number 2. Let me get her out of here. This is a double-ended brush. You get the 3D size two on that. This is perfect for moving around your alcohol inks. And then you get a gel brush on the other end or cleanup brush if you don't uh, do gel. And then you get your avocado decals. Look, uh, it's $89 and change and Keith is posting the link for it. We gave you a discount off of that. So let's get to getting and see what we're gonna make, okay? Hey, let me put my gloves on because um, I have spilled alcohol ink on my fingers today. Not bad, but enough that somebody's going to tell me about it. So let me put the gloves on, honey. That way you won't have to look at it. Aren't they adorable? Just freaking adorable. But look at this. Oh, you get a glitter too. I forgot to mention that. You get pink gold glitter. But look at this. How beautiful. Oh, yes, honey. Let's put these gloves on. We're going to do this alcohol ink nail first. Uh, if you have used Miss Tracy's alcohol ink, raise your hand. Raise your hand, honey. If you are watching and you have used the color cocktail, can you, can you testify, honey? Can you give us your thoughts on the inks? I'm putting down a little bit of matte top coat here because inks always have to sit on matte. I'm sorry, I'm putting down a little base coat, a little base coat, and then we're going to matte it. Lynn raised her hand. Penny raised her hand. Penny's raised her hand. Lynn raised her hand. Patricia said she has. Patricia, okay. Lynn says she loves them. All right, good. What, what's one thing you love about them? For me, it's the pigmentation. I don't have to go over it but once. Uh, the other thing I love about it is how easy they blend, and just with a few touches, I'm done. Like, literally, I'm done. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Look, if you have to spend a long time on, we can't say the S word. You're not allowed to say stickers, honey. If you have to spend a long time on nail art with decals, Maybe you might be applying it the wrong way, okay? We ain't got time for that, honey. Our base coat's cured. Got a good pigment, okay. So now we're gonna put down some Magic Matte. Look, inks love a matte surface in order to move around. And decals need to sit on a matte surface as well. So this is gonna be our decal nail. Right here. Let's pop that baby in. The yeah, the colors are intense. Now, before we do that full-on alcohol ink nail, let me show you what she looked like again. Look here. Focus, camera. Focus. Give her a second to focus. I'm going to go out of focus. Do you, you see all that little shimmer? Look here. This is Queen of Brunch. I put down underneath the alcohol ink in there. 
She doesn't even look like that in the bottle. In the bottle, it looks peachy, but the halo to her is gold and green. And what colors of ink are we using? Gold and green. So we just go pop this down over a white nail. Look here. Look at that. You talk about pretty, is you put this queen of brunch um, over a nude before you put a white French tip on. Mm-hmm. Now look, that don't look peach, does it? It's just a nice, pretty, shimmery hollow. So we're going to cure that, and then we will matte that before we ink it. In the meantime, matte top coat has cured on this one, and we're going to put some little decals on her. Yes, we are, honey. Let's get the, the tops on our ink loosened. We're only using two colors. We're using green and mustard. I kind of want my ink to go in this direction, like a little semicircle here. You need that, Cassie? Yeah, that's from our Dazzling Daydreamer collection. Um, and we have singles on everything, too. You don't have to buy it in the bundle. But it is the perfect thing to go under French. All right, here goes our green alcohol ink. We're going to pop a little there. We're going to pop a little here. And we're going to pop a little bit right there. Now, y'all already know I like moving my ink around with 100% acetone. And we're gonna do this before we put these um, decals on. So our decal, this will be sitting under the decal. Like a little shadow. Look how easy that just moves around. Oh yes, honey. Mom said she got her order yesterday delivered fast. Right? Look how pretty. Now that's just green. I didn't put any of the gold on there yet. I got some gold on my palette here. I'm going to use that up first. I don't want to waste her, honey. Oh, about right there. Thank you for the order. Whoever just placed that order. We appreciate it. Robin says avocado look like a woman with a baby. Right? <laughs> and I'm just going to push that yellow out of the way a little bit more. Because I'm going to make room for my little avocados going in here. Look, I, I don't particularly eat avocado. I'm not going to say I won't eat it. But it's a texture thing for me. But I think these decals are just adorable. All right, so we're going to just let that dry. We come back to her once she's dry and we'll put our decals on. Look here, this is Queen of Brunch. And we're gonna mat this so we can alcohol ink all over her. And then we'll shiny it up at the end. Mama says she loves her beetle box, Miss Tracy. <gasps> I'm so glad. I am so glad. We think we're going to have about five extra beetle boxes. We think. Don't hold us to that. I have not been able to look at it this weekend because, obviously, I've been tied up with the boot camp I'm teaching. But all the staff will be here tomorrow. If you're waiting to see if we have extras, we will um, check tomorrow, and we'll have those online for you to purchase. But even five, that's not very many. Um, so just watch the Facebook page. Now look, we just matted that queen of brunch. She no longer sparkly, honey. We're going to take green. We're using the avocado bundle tonight. Wait, y'all just wait till you see this. This is going to be adorable. Penny said she agreed she loved the beetle box this month. I'm so glad, Penny. No, I always not. stress over that. Um... Yeah, if I've hit the nail on the head, if I've missed it, if I've, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just letting that ink dry just a touch there. I don't want to touch it too, too soon. 
All right, loves, here we go, GGO. So I'm gonna move this around just really quickly. I'm using a an acrylic size number four. We're going to send you in the bundle. I should be using that brush, but mine's up in the classroom. And I don't wanna open this new one. We're gonna send you a brush this size. It's just a tad bit smaller um, with the bundle tonight. And I don't, if I open a new one, I'll knock somebody out of getting it, so. June says she's still waiting for her box. You are, June. Don't spoil it for me, she said. Hey, girl, I ain't saying nothing. You didn't hear me say a thing, honey. My lips is sealed. Pamela says it's definitely worth the wait. Ow. Now, here's the mustard. Not mustard like you would eat now. We're going to tap a little bit of that right here. This mustard is a powerful alcohol ink. I just, I kind of like it to mix with my green a little bit. And then they both fade out like really, really pretty. If you've not used the mustard, you're going to want it come fall time. It's going to be gorgeous. All right, I'm going to just let that dry somewhat. Let's just work that right up in here. Look how pretty already. And I'm just tapping it into place. Okay. Well, that's it, honey. We're going to let her dry. All right, tweezers. Look at these little guys. Oh, the glitter we put in the bundle matches the seed color in the middle so that we can pop up our seeds and make them 3D. So here we go, Gigio. We already know that Miss Tracy likes you to put your decals on a matte surface. Look here. And this nail is already matte. All, the only thing it's got down is the alcohol ink and the, the nail stayed matte even with the alcohol ink on it. So we're just gonna pop these down and I'm gonna go this way, right there. These are in our store, www.themobilemanicures.com. And our little moderator tonight, Keith Vinson, is uh, posting our link for us. Look, try not to touch these decals with your fingers too much because the oil from your skin will keep them from adhering properly. So put your gloves on before you start with that. Now there is one of these. I love this one that's got the little uh, script attached to it. Let's see if I can work her in here somewhere. Oh look, right here, right here. We'll turn her sideways. See how nicely that sticks to the matte surface? And let's just come down the side here just a little bit more. Which one do I not have? Ooh, I don't have this one. Oh, you know what? I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, now let's get some leaves because uh, this little sheet of decals has got all kinds of little greenery on it. Look, here, here, here. And we can fill in the rest of that with some greens. The only thing with your little decals is you're constantly picking those up and laying them down. But that's all right because these little babies are going to look hand painted when we get done with them. The goal is to make it not look like the S word, honey. If you're new watching Miss Tracy, you cannot say the S word. Sticker. You can't say sticker. You got to call it decal or transfer. You cannot say the S word. Mm -mm. Look, sticker is a $1 nail. Transfer a $5 nail. Y'all know I'm right.
All righty, and I'm going to do one more little piece of foliage right there. Which one do we want, honey? Hmm, let's do this one. Five dollar. Okay. Now make sure everything is stuck down really good. Look right here. I don't know if you can see at the bottom. See right there? We got a little piece of decal hanging off on that corner. Don't cut that with your scissors. Take a file and go down and that file completely cut that little edge of the decal. Especially if you're putting, these would be so cute on a French manicure just to put them across the French area. And all you gotta do is take your file right around the corner. All right, let's cover this up with a mat because these little things love to sit between matte top coat. Look, your decals are like peanut butter and jelly and your mat is like your bread. Don't you be putting these down over foil gel or rubber base. No, honey. Y'all listen to Miss Tracy. You want to wear these for two weeks? You put them on just like I tell you. Look here. Now, cure. And now we're going to get ready to do the little seeds in our avocado load. Look, we're giving you a glitter tonight in this bundle. This is our number one most popular glitter. It's called Pink Gold. It's not rose gold. It's not pink. It's not gold. That's why we call it Pink Gold, honey. We don't know what color it is. Good thing we ain't colorblind because at least we got it close. We're going to pour some of that pink gold right in here. But we primarily want the little itsy bitsy pieces. Look here. It's got all kind of different cuts of glitter in it. Right? On the edge of my little decal wrapper, I'm going to put down some NSI Glaze and Go. This is a shiny top coat. We only need a little bit. This is for our seeds. Look, we already sealed it up in matte top coat. Look how adorable. Miss Trace, won't you stop it? I can't, honey. I got to show you all the rest of it. Yes, child. Look how pretty. All right, here we go. We're going to take a little bit of the NSI Glaze and Go. You can use any... um no white top coat, but you know what? This one has a viscosity that she doesn't run, and I don't want the seed to run outside of the seed. Sandra said that glitter is bipolar. Honey, it's glitter on steroids is what it is. Child, this glitter worry a wooden man to death now. All right, so there is the middle. Now let's go in here, take your brush, and just do this. Just go right across the bottom of there because what's happening is we're only getting the tiny pieces. And we lay those tiny little pieces right down where the seed would be. Lord, my black gloves throw off my, look here. Let me add just a little bit more. Oh, yes. Now I'm going to freeze that, which means I'll pop it in the lamp and freeze. One, two, three, and out. Next seed. Just paint you a little bit on, honey. Not a lot. You know, in a nail business, child, less is more. In a clothing business, mmm. Don't get me started on that. Look, y'all. Look. For us women that don't want to show the three Bs, I ain't gonna go into detail what that is, but those of us that don't want to show, we need clothes, honey, that cover us. I was in Kohl's last week. Yes. 
question. Fact, it says best looking seat I've ever seen. Right. Look, I was in Kohl's last week looking for me something to wear. Let me tell you what, an aspirin bottle got more cotton in the top of it than the clothes that is on the rack. Honey. Us full figure girls. <laughs> we need something with a little bit more cotton in it now. All right, we are freezing that little seed. Yo, I'm a nut. I can't help it. I'm a middle-aged woman. I don't want to be showing my skivvies now. Okay, I'm just still grabbing. Look, that little seed t so tiny. And look what popped up here. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. So get these itty bitties. Oh, yes, perfect. Now let's get a full cure on that. I know y'all not laughing at me. Sandra says, I'm dying. The three B's need to be covered. Yes, don't show yes. Heavenly booty. Right? Look, the three B's, we don't want to see. No boobs, no bellies, and no butt cracks. And we want, we want clothing manufacturers to know that from us. Honey. All right, we're going to take this NSI glaze and go. And we're going to put this right back over top of our little seeds right here. Because when we do, that pops up. Oh, yes. Let me freeze. Look, y'all know I'm telling the truth because... We, yes, we need better clothing designers for us modest women. You like to keep him guessing, Lord. I'm going to send Thelma to see you with her Bible, honey. <laughs> Freeze. I'm just putting a drop of top coat, just a little drop. This NSI is, uh, the viscosity is really good on this. So that's what pops this little seed up in the middle. Look here. Look here from the side. Oh. You could listen to me every day, Dawn. My husband tell you you might get tired of me listening to me every day. Thelma can visit New Jersey anytime. <laughs> All right, let's get that little card out of the way. I've got that in the lamp. No worries, Rhonda. It's good to see you, boo. Look, now this one is done from earlier, but I want to put, I got some glitters that I spilled here, and I don't want to waste those. So we're going to pop down a little bit of rubber base. Let's just seal this up, but wait, wait till you see what's going to happen. When this rubber base goes over top of here, it takes this from matte to shiny. Look here. Oh, honey. Look, my class have been in stitches all weekend, especially at dinner. <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up some of these little glitters and just here and there and everywhere, I'm just going to lay in a few of these little glitters. There. And right here, look, it, if you look at this on the shelf, you would have never paired these glitters with these colors. And this is exquisite. Look here. In we go. We're going to cure that, and then we'll put a top coat on it. And these, my dear, this one is done. i got to take off at least one glove. So I can give you an accurate look here. See the little seeds? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't she lovely? 
Joy, I hope I ain't scared you off, honey, because I want you to come back. Just adorable. You know what? It has a summer look about it. Uh, if you got the lemon decals that we had last year, you could do the same thing with the lemon. But this green and mustard alcohol ink together is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Joy, the middle way you can <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's put the top coat on this one. So look here what she looked like. And look, that light line a little bit wavy because we have some glitters there. I'm going to pull that glaze and go. The viscosity of this is perfect for covering up these glitters. Look, you get a group of students that just gel together, and these have. They've just, they've just been the perfect group. I've worked them hard. I know that. Teresa says, I had the best time this weekend, Miss Tracy. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Ter Teresa told us today, she's like, I don't want to go home. We don't want you to go home either. Nancy said, we also had a blast in class. All right, so I'm giving this some body heat. Let that level out. A oh, Lord, I just touched it. Oh, I think she's all right. I think she all right. Look here. And in we go. Now look, the third nail I'm gonna pop in with this. This color is not in the kit because we don't have too many of these, but Laws has musky. And I apologize, all have a white nail, so I'm gonna have to put it on a white nail. This color is called What the Kale. Gaudy number 50. G stands for gel. What the kale? Wait till you see the screen. Look here. Let's buff this nail. Honey, they're about to see all my classes staying tomorrow. They're about to see what happens. It goes down in this place on Mondays. Mondays is our busiest day of the week. Hands down. They stay long enough. They might have to help us tomorrow. <laughs> Robert said that color is amazing. We love this color, and we're going to pair it, Robert, with something completely unexpected. We're going to put it with pink gold glitter. And look, these little avocados. All right, here we go, GGO. Again, I apologize for putting this over a white nail. It's all I have, but you know what? You're going to see how well this covers over a white nail. My class this weekend, Robert, if you're watching, they have fallen in love with Gotti. A bunch of these students are taking a bunch of Gotti home with them. Look, we're teaching press on nail boot camp. This gel polish is perfect for press on nails because it covers in almost one coat. Let's let that level out there. Give it just a second. Give her some body heat. He said that they have a festival where he's at. Ooh, look how pretty. All right, in we go. We're going to cure that. I am going to put one more coat because I'm putting it over a white nail tonight. Thank you for the stars. And let's get rid of some of these little guys because glitter on your mat uh, throws your camera off focus when you're live. Yes, honey. Nail number one. Nail number two. Now look, we used a Dazzling Daydreamer in there with that. You can tell she's dazzling. And let's pull this out and let's do one more coat of Gaudy number 50. What the kale. You can, I, I'm just seeing so many things I could use this color for. Look, I'm not a green nail person unless it's a deep green like this. And I love wearing these darker greens because I have very fair skin. Look at that, how nice and pretty. 
In we go, please. In the meantime, look, y'all, this little thing is just making me smile. I want to paint a face on her. Some little eyes and a tiny little smile. I could do it too, honey. I want to make one of them cheesing. Okay, we're going to pop down just a little bit of our base gel here. A super, super thin coat. And look, you're going to get this little brush in your um, bundle tonight. I'm just going to lay down some of this pink gold glitter right into that wet base. It looks amazing over this green. You wouldn't think these two would work, uh, but because this is a hollow glitter, it's already reflecting some green. This Pamela, is called pink gold. Pamela wants to know, are you going to put a, a plan together for the lacquer like you did the gel? Uh, I haven't just yet, Pamela. I would like to. Um, we're just waiting to see... Uh, we're, we're just waiting to see what kind of interest we have on that. You know, you mean like the Gaudi Club we're doing for the gel polishes? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? We would have to have enough interest to do it. Marcella says that color would look good. awesome in the mask. Yes, oh, it would. You know what? My sample is shiny. This is the sample I did. And sorry, I ran outside the lines there. That's the sample. I'm going out of focus on purpose so you can see how that is reflecting. Now we're going to go in focus. Would y'all like me to mat this one so you can see what it looks like matted? I'm happy to do it. Again, this is one of our luxury ladybug. This is from the diamond collection, and this is pink gold. You want me to mat it? Yep, I will. Wait, she's in the cooker. Let's wait just a second. Look, I'm almost done. Do you see how easy that was? All right, let's take this out. Oh, we can't just put, yes. That trauma would look, a green and glitter would look amazing for the fall. It would, and I think this is looking very dragon-ish. If you're into dragon nails, this combo is fabulous, honey. Now, I'm just sealing this up with a little bit of rubber base because you can't top coat right over top of those glitters. They'll be sticking up on you. So we seal that up. Yeah, Barbara got to see these in person uh, tonight before we went live. I showed them earlier. So here are the two samples. It, it just goes to show alcohol inks do their own thing now. They don't have to flow in the same manner on every nail. So there's the two of those. Here are the two little avocados I did. So one for each. Here is the shiny green. This is called What the Kale. Oh, Elizabeth, you so sweet, honey. And now we're gonna matte this one and see how these beautiful glitters look matte. I'm using Magic Matte, that's what I got handy. My other mats are out in my classroom. <clears throat> and let's see what we got here. Oh. I can already tell this is going to be pretty matte. Robert said you're the reason he's so busy. Oh, I'm going to be calling you again tomorrow, Robert. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Look, I teach a lot of classes here. The, the class we have here today doesn't finish up until noon tomorrow. I teach an online class at three tomorrow. I have another big crew coming in that I train Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then I get a teeny little breather. Plus, I have two more online classes this week to work in between all of my in-people classes. 
It's okay. We'll wait for you, Robert. Let me zoom in. Reminds you of watermelon, yep. Sorry about my little spill, my little blurb on that one earlier. I was trying to prep nails on my lunch today. Oh, honey. Look, I, I can't, I cannot pretend to be anybody else other than who I am. Never be fooled by the country accent, right? Uh, if you need help in nails, honey, I'm here to help you with nails. I know my nails. And if you didn't know, I was a music teacher prior to, I've only done nails for 12 years. I was a music teacher before that. Look, I know music, I know Jesus, and I know nails. That's about it, honey. Now, this one did not get... You know what? I only have rubber base on this. I don't have a, a top coat on that. Let's fix that. Because this one got to be buffed, child. I love the mat, too. Let's buff this one, though, so... My top coat will lay down. Once in a while, you have to do that if your glitters are kind of poking their little heads up through there. That helped. Now, this green is not in the What the Kale Gotti is not in the bundle tonight. So, if you're looking for a good green, uh, be sure you grab that one. This is pretty, honey. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now she's laying down straight. Mm, that's yeah, that is beautiful. And she doesn't have any body heat on her. So let's turn that upside down and let gravity pull that down. Body heat, when you're working on a human, helps level everything out. Once a teacher, always a teacher. Ain't that the truth, honey? Only I'm not teaching you how to play in the key of C on this one. <laughs> I dropped that nail as it went in the lamp. I hope I didn't mess it up. Oh, I think she'd be all right. And then I'm going to take my camera out and give you guys uh, a look. Now, tonight I'm using the avocado bundle. You get this glorious, beautiful... Look here, you get Queen of Brunch. This is one of our very own Dazzling Daydreamer uh, polishes. This is so pretty over French manicure. You're going to get that. You're going to get a green and a mustard color cocktail. These are our alcohol inks. You're also going to get a dual-ended brush just because this is the size I like to move those inks around with right here. That's the one I want you to use for your inks. It's got that on one end, and it's got a gel brush on the other end. You get that. You get the pink gold glitter I was using. This is a holographic, very thin, lots of different little cuts of glitter in there. And then you get a full sheet of the avocado decals, not stickers. Don't you call it the S word. Mm-mm. I'll be washing your mouth out with soap now if you use that S word. Don't you do it. Jerry Decals. In the key of T of C. Right. Oh, yeah, she looked better now. I do see where I dropped it, but we'll make it work. All right, I don't want to. That's just a little bit different angle of the camera. I have to agree with y'all. I love the matte glitter so much. This is a chameleon color changing glitter. And that's what comes in the bundle tonight for $89 and change. And we gave you a discount off of there, right? Who would think a little, almost like a little cheesy 
set of avocado decals would produce this kind of beauty, honey. Green mat is going to be very versatile for sure. Look, the shiny one, you almost lose the color of your glitters, you have to hold it a certain way. That you can see them. But I love these ones. Any questions on our little baby? Uh, Robert. <laughs> he said, holy guacamole. Absolutely beautiful. And you got a little bit. I wouldn't call it 3D per se, but we popped up the avocado seeds. Can you see that? Look here. The matte is beautiful with this color combo. So if you're going to grab the bundle tonight, be sure you grab gaudy number 50, what the kale. That is not in the bundle. That's just a last minute I pulled to use with this. And it proved to be the right choice. Listen, I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining me this Sunday. Shorter class. Next Sunday, uh, join us live. We're doing our April giveaway next Sunday. I know it's May 1st, but it was close enough to the end of the month. We can do it then. We're giving away over $800 in product next Sunday. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.